you, James. Reggie. Uh, guys, as you uh, may know, I'm a comedian, uh, which means that I have had a lot of other jobs uh, <laughs> that I am terrible at. <laughs> However, uh, have you ever met someone who is so bad at their job that they actually go all the way around to being like a genius at doing the opposite of their job? <laughs> Uh, I was recently in a restaurant, and I had a waitress, and I waited tables for many years. I know it's a tough job, but this was as if she had never been in a restaurant before in her life. <laughs> and actually, that's actually too kind. It's more like uh, she had just landed in a spaceship from outer space, <laughs> and the first structure she happened to walk into was a restaurant, and they're like, here's a job, and she's like, what are words? <laughs> Because we ordered uh, two Bloody Marys in an empty restaurant, uh, and after 20 minutes, she comes out with two drinks, and uh, one was pink, and one was brown. <laughs> and we were simply confused. And I said, um, why are those two different colors? And she just went... <laughs> and disappeared inside was gone for 10 minutes and then came out with them unchanged <laughs> and put them on the table. I was like, what happened in there? Did she just like walk into a kitchen full of like 16 foot tall ants from outer space? And she's like, bah, 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 and they're all like, bah, 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 just flipping through Encyclopedia Britannica's and watching old episodes of I Love Lucy, trying to figure out what the heck humans do in restaurants these days. <laughs> And I honestly expect her to come back to the, to the table and be like, uh, what can I get for you, sir? And what can I get for you? And then go to the flower in the middle of the table. And what will you be having, sir? <laughs> and we'll be like, what? And she'd be like, never mind. <laughs> Fly away. Uh, I was, I'll be honest with you guys. I've just been uh, real into tubing lately. <laughs> just love to tube and I was on tour recently, I wanted to go tubing, uh, but I couldn't find a place to rent a tube, but I could find a place to rent a canoe. And uh, it's surprisingly easy to rent a canoe when you've never canoed before. <laughs> you just pay a man $12, he throws a canoe on the ground and drives away. And I realized that canoeing is only fun with a friend. <laughs> Because the only thing to do when you're canoeing is like canoe up to like a rope swing and swing on the rope or go to a cliff and jump off of it. But every time I canoed up to one of those things, there was already a family doing that thing. So then it was just me, man in canoe by myself, <laughs> just predator paddling up. <laughs> like, hey, family, can I get wet with you? <laughs> and when you canoe by yourself, you sit in the back of the canoe, and so the front of the canoe kind of pokes up out of the water, so it just looks like a boner hunting for families. <laughs> and on that trip, uh, I had rented a car that had satellite radio, and I uh, found out I love satellite radio. I love it because every channel is so specific. It's just for, like, five people. And there's one, there's one channel called The Pulse, and I think the pitch for that channel was like, hey, when people ask you, what kind of music do you like? You say, oh, I like all kinds of music. But also, you stopped listening to music in 2004? Well, here's some Britney. <laughs> and then there's one channel that's just the Grateful Dead. Another channel, just Bruce Springsteen. And then another channel called Margaritaville, which is supposed to be only Jimmy Buffett. But Buffett doesn't have a deep enough discography <laughs> to support 24-7 play. So they're just like, if you like Buffett, maybe you like this crap. I don't know. <laughs> like, hey, are you an old white man who went to the Bahamas once and loves island culture, but would prefer to not think about the post-colonial segregation and exploitation of a native population and instead want to focus on the burgers? Well, here's some eagles. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys.